In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve simultaneous linear equations using the substitution method. Okay, so the first step in solving simultaneous linear equations using the substitution method is to name your equation. So they're already named here. So this is equation one, and then this is equation two. Okay, so the next step is to pick an equation. Okay, so let's say, let's pick equation one. Okay. So this would be 3x plus 4y is equal to 9. So from here on, we'd make a variable the subject of formula. So we can choose to make x or y the subject of formula. So let's choose to make x in this case. So I'd have 3x is equal to, if you move 4y over to this side, you, get, you have 9 minus 4y. Okay. So to make x subject of formula here, you divide both sides by 3. So this x divided is equal to 9 minus 4y divided by 3. Okay, so we can call this equation 3, actually. Okay, so the next step is to take the other equation. So in this case, we need to pick another equation, but it cannot be equation 1 because that was what we used to get this one, okay? So we have to pick equation two, okay? So you have two x plus three y is equal to eight. The next step is to substitute the value of x that we had from the previous equation, okay? So you have two upper brackets, nine minus four y divided by three plus three y is equal to 8. So if you mod, if you open this bracket by the 2 outside here, you have 18 minus 8y divided by 3 plus 3y is equal to 8. Okay? So we can multiply through by 3 to remove this denominator here. Okay? So you have 18 minus 8y over 3 times 3 plus 3y times 3 is equal to 8 times 3. Okay, so this will cancel out this. And then you have 18y, 18 minus 8, 8y plus 9y is equal to 24. Okay, so next up we have 18 plus y is equal to 24. Okay, so let's clean up space. So this y is equal to 24 minus 18, which is equal to 6. Okay, so that means the value of y is equal to 6. Okay. So next up, you can pick the value of y here and substitute into this equation that we made x the subject of formula to get our value of x. Or you can choose to do it for equation 1, okay? Or equation 2, okay? So let's say, let's pick this equation 3, okay? So this would be x is equal to 9 minus 4. I'll be putting the value of y directly. So open bracket 6 divided by 3, okay? So this means that x goes to 9 minus 24 over 3, okay? So let's pick it up from here. Let's say x equals to 9 minus 24 is minus 15 over 3. So this is equal to minus 5. So therefore, x is equal to minus 5. Okay? Okay, so that's simply how to solve simultaneous linear equations using the substitutional method. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. It helps. Thank you.